Hi guys, I've got a very special package to show you. Uh, it's from one of my friends on Facebook and he's part of Killer Flicks as well. You probably know him uh, if you're part of Killer Flicks. And his name is Sean Michael Cadlick. Uh, Sean's been on Killer Flicks for a while now and he does some cool mask um, creations and he started doing some Blu-ray customization as well. I helped him out with a few of the templates and what he, paper is best to use and stuff and he started doing some blurry covers especially with the Halloween movies so he sent me a couple of um, uh, blurry covers in here um, I won't tell you what ones I've asked for because he's doing quite a few um, but he sent me in this package here so I'll go ahead and open it up and I'll show you up close because what he showed me was really good the movies that I've asked for the covers for the movies that I've asked for I don't really love but I just love the cover so much that I had to have them uh, especially because I'm a Halloween fan so I'll go ahead and open this up and I'll show you inside. Okay, now he's given me two things. Um, this is what I assume is what I've asked for, uh, but he's given me this as well. I don't know what this is. He's wrote, hope you enjoy what's inside, brother? Question mark. Now, I can see the front there. Uh, you might not know what that is, but I know exactly what this is. Now, Sean and myself, uh, we're huge champions for Halloween H2. A lot of people shit on that movie, uh, but for some reason, we're drawn towards that movie for whatever reason. Uh, we love Halloween H2, regardless of what people think of it. I can see something from Halloween H2 right there. I won't say what it is yet, uh, but we've got a Smith's Grove Warren County Sanitarium staff badge, Dr. Loomis. That's really cool. Uh, I didn't know he made this. Did you make this? If you did, it looks great. Good quality on the the card as well. Yeah, I don't know why you're asking me for advice on paper because that is great. So I'll open up this last because I don't actually know what it is, so I'll put it to the side. But this is what I've asked for. So I'll open this up first of all and show you. Okay, I've managed to open up. I've not really looked at it yet, but so far it's looking really good. Good quality paper. Okay, you ready? It is the Thorn Trilogy. Now, like I said, guys, I'm not a particular fan of the Thorn trilogy. I just love the artwork that he chose uh, for this design. And it's very simplistic as well. Kind of like what I do with my covers. Not a lot of pictures and stuff on the back to crowd it. Just the information of the movies itself. So that's great. Um, he's went to town with the, the information. You've got the Thorn trilogy at the top. You've even got www.myers.com. Uh, sorry, Michael slash Myers.net with the Miramax and the Blu-ray logos there. So really good detail. And again, you've got the spine with the Miramax logo and the Blu-ray at the top. I've stopped, I've not stopped, but I make a lot of Blu-ray custom covers. I've not done it for a long time, just not had the time to do it. So when somebody's actually took the time out to make them themselves and then send me a copy, it's great. Uh, it's good to actually get custom covers that I've not made myself. Um, so that's it there, that's the, the sleeve itself. So that's really cool, really neat. And again, that's not something that I do. Uh, I do uh, slip cover, well I did do slip covers and um, blurry covers themselves, but I've not actually ventured into the whole box set style, so that's really good. Really nice, so that's that. And I'll show you these individually because I don't know where they got the images from, I, maybe he has made them himself, I don't know, I never asked him that, but I will show you them anyway. So here's Halloween 4, see that there without the light, and again it's just a close up of the Myers mask, and you can see where this is going to go with all the, the covers that he's doing, uh, he has the mask up front, very close and detailed and personal, uh, Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers, the, the spines are all the same, I'll show you the spines, there are uniform spines as well, so that's good. And then the backs are uniform as well, but they've got an image from the movie itself. In this, in this case, it's Halloween 4 with Michael Myers on the back. And then, oh no, this is a nice touch. Now, like I said, he, uh, Sean makes a lot of masks and stuff. And he's put in his information uh, and stuff that he sells. So look, this is something that he sells, which is a great prop if you're a massive fan of Halloween 4. I think Lee McCoy from Drum Dums got one of these as well from Sean. Um, Lee showed it on his channel and it's very, very detailed. So that's the mask that you can get from Halloween 4. Um, these are H2O prop clippings. I'm assuming this is potentially what he sent me in this 
in that um, envelope, but I'll open it anyway, so he sells them. And this is his information, I'll put his information down below anyway, but this is a card with his contact details on it. And his autograph, yay! Uh, so, that's information that he's put into this. Don't know if he's put it into the mall, I'll check, but that's that. So that's Halloween 4. We've got Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. This is the mask that I'll hate the most, I think. Uh, but again, it's very good and detailed, and whether you like the masks or not, these covers are amazing. And then there's the back with the, the bird style mask with the big beak. And then finally, we have Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, the finale of the Thorn trilogy. I don't really class Halloween 4 as a Thorn movie because it had none of the Thorn in it. Uh, but the characters went over to Halloween 5, so I guess you can call it a trilogy. So that's The Curse of Michael Myers. Uh, and then that's a Michael Myers mask from that movie. Again, one of the masks that I don't really love because it looks so heavy and clay-like, but the design of this cover is great. Uh, and it really showcases it a lot better than the movie. And then there's the back. That's a nice shot of Myers with his axe. And that's that. So, uh, these are amazing, Sean. Um, like I said, it gave me the options for these ones and the original sister trilogy, as I called it. Uh, with Halloween 1, Halloween 2 and um, the new Halloween and they're all great but for some reason I was drawn towards this slip cover that's really nice, really nice I know Sean didn't design that cover himself uh, that's on the, the vinyl but using the vinyl art for this slip cover was great so that's that, so I'm going to open up this here and find out what's in here so I'm just opening it just now Make sure there's nothing else in there. So that's that. So I'll make sure I don't throw that away because it has this on it. That's quite cool. Uh, right, so here we go. So, yeah, this is what I thought it would be. And it is. So we've got Happy Birthday 17. It's John's birthday in Halloween H2. And that's obviously that's the birthday card that he got for his 17th birthday. That looks almost identical, if not identical to it. Inside, Sean has given his signature at the bottom there. And he's included two more staff cards. Boom. That's cool. I wonder, Sean, is that the right employee ID? If it is, it's very, very detailed. So that's that. Next we've got an image of Dr. Loomis. We see that in quite a few of the movies. Uh, I think it's in H2 at the beginning. Yeah, I'm sure it is. So that's... Dr. Loomis. And uh, what's this? The Night He Came Home, Halloween. This looks like a poster for the drive-in theatre. Must be the US, I'm sure. That's some nice artwork right there. And we've got Halloween 4 down here as well. Put that close up. And next, ah, right. Oh, right, okay, so we've got Halloween H2, that's the, uh, Dr. Loomis apparently drew this, obviously not the real Donald Pleasance, this was in Halloween H2. Uh, I really, I really like this scene at the beginning when we first got introduced to the John Ottman slash Marco Beltrami score uh, at the beginning of the movie. So that's one of the images there, uh, before the crime scene stuff. Here we have... Haddonfield High, class of 78. Now that's sweet. Let's see if I recognise anyone. Laurie Strode, yep. Is this all the people from that as well? Uh, it must be. I noticed that Annie's not there. Um, not, none, of the, none of her friends are there. Something called Nancy Thomas. Sounds familiar. Uh, and here's the newspaper clippings that's from Donald Pleasance's character, Dr. Loomis, and Halloween H2. So he's got some of these on the wall next to the drawing of Myers. So you get that. You get this one as well. And there's the image of Dr. Loomis again. And then you've got this one where she was a sole survivor. Remember that one? Halloween Killer. Is this him? This 
makes us assume that he was never caught after Halloween 2, which was hinted at during the movie. And this is to do with part 1, with him escaping. Again, these are all clippings on the wall. Uh, what's this one? Warren County Sanitarium. Confidential. File copy, this must be... Oh, we've got a few of them. This is some of the files from the sanitarium. And again, it's very detailed. Again, if these are all exact, they're brilliant. And here's a... Yeah, I've seen this one. This is an image from... I'm sure this is an H2 as well, but this was an image from um, The Curse of Michael Myers. Yeah. And then... Ah! Oh, now this is unique. I've never ever seen this before. Well, I've seen it in the movie. This is cool. Um, John, Josh Hartnett's character, draws Molly, uh, played by Michelle Williams, a map in Halloween H2 uh, of where they're going to go to the secret meeting. And this is the exact one. How cool is that? So that's the stuff that he sent me through there. I didn't know he was sending that. So again, Sean, if you're watching this video, thanks very much for this uh, stuff. This will go nicely with all the rest of my Halloween memorabilia and everything else that I collect of Halloween. So that is absolutely amazing. Like I said, guys, I'm going to leave Sean's information down below in the comments section, not the comments section, the description down below. Um, if you're interested in any stuff that he sells, just click his link, send him a message. He's really nice. He contacts you quite fast, to be honest. Um, so again, thanks a lot for this inf information. I can't speak. Thanks, for lot. thanks a lot for all this stuff, Sean, and especially this Thorn Trilogy. Uh, box so that's really nice that'll go nicely with my halloween collection anyway guys thanks a lot for watching again thanks for subscribing i'll see you soon bye bye